What's up guys, it's Hatai at 7 RCT Gaming bringing you another video for you guys. I uh, hope 2021 has been going well for you guys, staying safe and healthy, make sure of that. Uh, today I'm going to be doing a quick update or kind of like follow up to a video that I did a while back on the Corsair Void Pro Elite, I think it was. Awesome pair of headsets, uh, USB. Not wireless or any of that stuff. Uh, really, really good. They served me well, well for what I was using them at the time. Now my lady is using them. I was looking for a wireless solution for my needs, specifically, you know, for the channel and stuff like that. And I kept doing research. I tend to do this a lot. Like every time I want to get something, since of course, you know, limited resources, you have to be very smart what you pick up because you can't be throwing them away. Um, and that certainly is my case. So I started looking for one, or I came down to research to one specifically, and that is the Arctic 7 from Seal Series. Now that one is one that basically, you know, legions of fanboys, people going crazy over that set, saying that it's the best thing since, you know, sliced bread. So I got really curious, but of course, the limiting factor, the cost. I couldn't invest so much, but I kept looking, and another one that kept creeping up was from Corsair, of course, the HS70 Bluetooth. Now, they do have a version in uh, wireless, but um, Bluetooth kind of seemed to be doing everything right, and I'll go into details in just a moment. Now, everything aligned. And I was able to not only get one or have to choose between one or the other, but actually grab both at the same time. Crazy. I'm not going to explain how it happened, but I was able to get for dirt cheap both of them at the same time. Different vendors, but I was able to get them. So I did not have to choose, you know, the, the painful choice of having to choose one over the other. But I will say this both of them are awesome they are amazing in their own right now on the one hand you have this fellow right here which is the arctic uh, 7 i'll put some footage so you can see them better and of course on this side you have the corsair one now both of them are amazing because they do their own things just about right now this one, of course, has its own like microphone built in. Not that I'm going to be using that because, of course, I use um, my own blue snowball. And this basically is it while on. They don't stand out too much. They don't look bulky, crazy, like, you know, I kind of like the low profile style of them. And of course, the ear cups, which is very important for comfort, the ear cups are really nice and soft. So yeah, in comfort, these guys are pretty badass. In sound, oh my god, what a change from, from the Corsair Void, I have to say that. I, I admit that I'm not a person to be, you know, a fall for the whole fanboy thing. I usually like to research and look for facts, you know, look for reviews from a lot of places, different places, so I don't just get one version of the story. And I have to say, even though there was, uh, people were divided because some would find this uncomfortable, I cannot say that. I find these incredibly comfortable. Um, they look pretty nice as well. The headband thing is something you get used to. Um, it hasn't bothered me yet, and it fits. I don't have to readjust. Everything works as it's supposed to. And of course, it has its own uh, software suite for you to uh, you know mess around with to change the, the sound settings and stuff, which I'm gonna go into detail a little bit later. Now, on the other hand, we have these bad boys, which are crazy good especially considering the price now these not only can be used with bluetooth these you can use actually through the ports on this side 
okay, on the porch. This is uh, this spot right here is for the microphone. This spot here is for 3.5 jack, and this one is for USB. Now, before I get into details of that USB connection, I have to say the following. Number one, this sucker right here, at least average price, uh, the lowest I've seen it is 109, 109. These are going for about, let's say 60 to 80. These connected through USB are amazing. Why do I say amazing? Because, um, when you connect them through the USB port, you get 24-bit sound. Now, I know there's a lot of debate that, you know, 16-bit versus 24-bit sound, that some people can tell the difference, uh, others don't. They see that's the same frequency, blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I'm not here to debate that. All I can say is that I've tested these with music, games, and movies, and oh my God, when that changes to 24, it is amazing. Now. Not to say that these are any, you know, slouch, because these sound amazing as well, but of course I have to go into software side for that, because out of the box, the default sound is good, it's good, it's not fantastic. Again, I'm not an audiophile, but I can tell when something sounds good or sounds bad. These are really, really good. The fact that they're wireless, they have an amazing range, you know, that has like 30 feet, battery is pretty good. When it comes to the sound profile, um, default is, let's say, okay. Now these out of the box sound profile are fantastic. You know, I don't need to tweak and thank God for that because now we have to go into the part of software. All right, so if we move here into the sound settings and stuff, uh, first, great thing that you have on the seal series one is a seal series engine now this is an incredible piece of software i mean compared to the iq i'm going to be completely honest that's the one thing that i really don't like about um iq or the corsair pair uh, specifically because even though it worked okay with the void pro and it has, you know, all these nice things for you to mess around with, with RGB and stuff. That is not the case for the Bluetooth one. I don't need that because really this doesn't have any RGB and it doesn't really need them. The sound is so good that I don't care for the lighting, to be completely honest. And for my use case, I'm not going to be using it. So, but on the Seal Series size, uh, this, this right here, all this... Uh, choices that you have including being able to associate you know your um, steam account or gog or you know anything any kind of uh, software or games that you have running i even have a uh, core uh, build associated so every time that i would launch that that program or that software is going to launch it with the profile that i set and you have everything from equalizers, uh, dynamic range. This breathes life into the standard default out of the box sound that you get, which with um, the Steel Series with the Arctic 7. Now, that's not saying that it comes bad out of the box. All I'm saying is that it grows into a much better and more broader tweaking, you know, setup for you to set it up the way that you want just to show you what is a software that you're going to be use, using to basically, you know, tweak or whatever the settings, which it really doesn't need it. The HS70 Bluetooth does not need messing around. Believe me, it has plenty of volume. It has uh, plenty of, of bass. It has that not nice crunchy sound, especially, especially through the USB cable so much so that it made me go out and get a 15 foot USB cable so I can enjoy that when I'm listening to music and other stuff but outside of that you also get the features of course of you know using them through Bluetooth for let's say your uh, mobile phone which 
basically that saves me the need of having to you know get connectors and stuff and the wires and all that mess i just use them like when i need them for let's say streaming or doing some switch stuff which again that's one little detail that i forgot to mention in my personal use case now the arctics right here they work for everything uh, pc games you know whatever i want to do it gives me the freedom and stuff of not having to mess around with cables and be like tied to the desk or whatever i i tested the range and i can go far away in, inside the apartment and it doesn't lose signal really really good the sound is really clear i haven't tested a mic i don't think i'm going to be testing it uh, outside of maybe perhaps uh, the blue snowball brakes or work case scenarios are is uh, a situation where I'm gonna have to test them but for now not needed if you're looking for headsets in terms of mic forget about this video this is more about my experience and the sound in terms of price of course I already mentioned this one goes for around 109 the cheapest I've seen them outside of how I got them and then these are 60 or 80 bucks you can get them probably cheaper than that but these are oh my god these are so good for the price if you need to choose between one or the other oh man I'm torn I'm torn I'm torn but in the end I would probably go with this one not saying this one is better just saying that if I had to pick between the two I would go with this one considering how good the sound is but these are amazing in their own right because they have a ton of flexibility these can be used with the switch it has a nice little dock uh, wireless uh, little dongle thing that you connect to the computer and from there uh, you're able to connect anything through a 3.5 connection be it another system console or whatever so that's really nice feature to have uh, all in all I can say that I'm super stoked and happy of being able to have these for basically the price of one but if you're out in the market you know trying to pick one for yourself I would say you cannot go wrong with either of them they are awesome headsets both of them and this is coming out of you know researching them for quite a bit oh there you go researching them for quite a bit they are awesome headsets you cannot go bad with either one of them so that's gonna be it guys um, if you enjoyed the video if you have any more questions drop a comment down below and please like and subscribe share the video and I'll check you guys on the next one. Take care. Stay safe.